Hello, witches and wizards, and welcome back to The Wubby Life. I'm Emily. My mom, Jan, and I built a fully functioning tiny house on wheels dedicated to Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World. So shout out to them for all of the inspiration and joy that they've brought us over the years. Um, our house is fully functioning, fully furnished, fully decorated on the market now. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Today I'm going to be starting the tour for the Hufflepuff kitchen. And I'm going to be splitting this up into two videos, so we'll have a kitchen side and then a dining room side in a separate video. So, let's get started. Okay, so you can see our front door right here. And first off, we have the little DIY Gringotts that we made out of some scrap wood. We've got three vaults, 687 Lestrange, and of course, vault 713. But that was unfortunately emptied earlier today. So these all do open up into cubbies to provide some extra storage. And I believe we have found another Horcrux. So I really love this Hufflepuff cup. It is very good quality. Love the little badger. And it comes with lots of galleons. We've also got some Veritaserum in case Bellatrix needs to get some information out of someone. And a replica of the Sword of Gryffindor. But only a goblin would know that this is not the real sword. And Vault 687, which is the Potter Vault. It looks like Harry is quite rich. On top we have, of course, the dragon and the Gringotts Goblin collectible. Moving up the wall, we've got some Harry Potter walkie-talkies. And I think we can all agree that Harry needs to work on his hand-eye coordination, trying to catch those letters. We did come up with a little DIY house cups points, house cup point counter. Um, these are food dispensers and we've got jelly beans in there right now for each house. Ravenclaw is clearly in the lead. Gryffindor struggling a little bit. Coming down. We took an old yard sale dresser and turned it into the house um, little trunks, a trunk for each house. And then this Gryffindor one, I believe Hermione is at it again. Just some little Hogwarts letter socks for the kitchen elves. And in the second drawer we have a single burner electrical um, little eye. I'm blanking on what that's called right now. And down here we just got some pots to go with the kitchen. Electric cooktop, that's the word I'm looking for. No Hufflepuff kitchen would be complete without lots of plants. We're hoping to keep these alive until the house is sold. We had two little pots attached to this magnetic bar right here, but the plants were looking a little um, sad, so we took them in to give them some love. But you could put anything on here, pots or knives or spices. We've got another little spice rack right there. And some Hufflepuff meat. We have Professor Sprout up there. Sort of give a little wider overview of his space. And leading down the hall, we have a gorgeous runner right here. We've got some Gillyweed. We're gearing up for the Triwizard Tournament. And Harry's learning to fly his broom. I love this little rounded back mini microwave, but if someone wanted to put a 
convection microwave in. We do have one that we could offer the buyer if they're interested that does fit good in this space, but we just like to have it in the regular microwave better. And we have a mini fridge in our sink cabinet. We have a nice spot for our poor creature. We have his little quilt that Hermione made and he loves Miss Bellatrix. Got a badge there. And we've also got a fire extinguisher in case Seamus Finnegan comes to visit. Moving up to our storage. Love the little cauldron bowls from Hot Topic. We have the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. Some of our Hufflepuff dishes. I love the little Quidditch canister set. We have Helga. Weasley's item, a battle of Hogwarts, a nice little lantern, and over here we have a skull that actually does glow in the dark under there, and that is also a bottle opener, so you can have some nice fresh butter beer, and one of my favorite items of all time, this little chibi Voldemort mug, it is just adorable. And looking back over is our little Hufflepuff door. And I moved this earlier for some reason, but it opens and closes. The little Marauder's Map teapot. So, that is going to do it for the kitchen side of our Hufflepuff tour. Oh yeah, I'll go ahead and show you if I didn't show this in another video. We've got a ministry memo there and also some of Dumbledore's army up there. For the right side of our Hufflepuff kitchen tour, our next video will be of the dining room side. And don't forget that our house is available for purchase in the United States. We'll have some more information in the description box below. But all of the decor and furnishings that I've showed you today are going to be sold as is with the house. So a lot of really great stuff. And we just hope that someone will come in here and love it as much as we do. It's brought us so much joy to work on this project and emotional to think about letting it go but we are ready to share the magic and spread the magic and spread the love so um, again I will try to link as many of the items that I talked about today in the description box below so that you can check them out and thank you so much for all of the kind comments and messages that we've been getting about our house it really means a lot to us this has been such a, a special project to work on um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it Leave us a comment letting us know what you thought about our Hufflepuff kitchen. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future videos. And I think that's all. So catch you guys on the flip side. Love you.